Hello and welcome back to Moms. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you 10 ways to save you time. Quick disclaimer, while all of the items on this list will save you time, some of them require a certain amount of time invested. So, don't look at it and go, I'm gonna try and do all of these at once because Realistically, if you need to save time, you probably haven't got the time to do all of these initially. You can either just work through the list in the order I'm gonna give them to you. That's like a fun suggestion. Or I like to, in these kind of lists, grab two, two. Two to start with, you can then come back and grab another two at a later date, but grab two. So you wanna grab the one that you can implement the fastest. So that may be something different for every person. Um, so, once we've gone through the list, look at it and go, which one can I implement fastest? And then the second one you want to implement is the one that will make the biggest impact on your life. Unfortunately, this may mean that it's the one that's gonna take the longest to implement. It may not, but it's gonna be the one that you can look at and go, yes, if I implemented this properly, it's gonna save me the biggest chunk of time on the whole list. Because if you save that big chunk of time, you can then do the rest of the list this chunk of time. It's clever to see. So number one is decide the type of mum that you want to be. I could do many, many, many videos on this topic alone and I'm sure I will over the coming years but for now I've done it in a quick email course. It's free, it's on the website, so click on the link down below and that'll take you to the, the page and the bottom of the page you can fill out the name and email and you will get sent the, the like the short course. It's a couple of emails that you can just work your way through over a couple of days and it will give you like a written out the type of mum I want to be which you can then use to save yourself a whole lot of time be it applying it to like your priorities, working out what you want to do day to day, uh, stopping doing other people's obligations, all those kind of things. Stop wasting time on things that don't matter to you. But you need to know what matters to you first. So that's, that's the course for you. That's number one. Number two is probably one of my favorites and that is time block your week. I have done a whole video on time blocking in this series on saving time. So I will link that down below. Basically what I'm gonna do is link the whole playlist on saving time in one link. So you can just click on that and watch all the videos you've missed. You may have already watched it. If you've got to this one and you've been watching the series, you've probably watched it already. So you know what time blocking is and you know how awesome it is. So implement that. Number three is probably fairly heavy on the time investment front. It's declutter. I cannot express how much joy I get from a good declutter, but the problem is I have decluttered so many times, there is not very much to declutter. I am surrounded by only things that spark joy. Uh, check out the life-changing magic of tidying up if you want in my idea, in my mind, my idea, in my mind, the best way to declutter. Found it rather life-changing, if I'm honest. It does exactly what's said in the tin. It's like Ronsil, paint and grain. Does exactly what it says in the tin. Um, I digress. Declutter. Don't have things in your life that physically impede your life. Impede, is that the word I mean? So, slow things down so you're literally having to move them out of the way to get to things but also being surrounded by like clutter that you don't like be it like pictures on the walls that you don't like or like books on the shelves that you don't like clothes in your wardrobe that you don't like they drag you down and when you're dragged down you ain't gonna get as much done fact it's a declutter Number four is have systems. Again, I did a whole video in this series on saving time. So you may have already seen that video. If not, you're gonna be heading towards that playlist on saving time in a minute when you finish this video. Anyway, the systems one is in there. Number five is probably my week's 
spot, if I'm honest, and that is to delegate. Have a look at some of the things on your to-do list and go, do I need to be doing this? Can a kid do this? Can one of the kids get this done? Could my other half get this done? Is this maybe something I'm willing to pay someone to do? I am constantly surprised at like the apps there are now for finding people to do really random tasks. It may be that you hire a virtual assistant. It may be you hire an agile assistant. It may be you hire a cleaner. It may be literally that you get a handyman in for a couple of like one off hours. It may be something that can be done like virtually. Maybe you want all your pictures of the kids edited or something like that. I don't know. But it's surprising what you can delegate these days. So get on that and get it off your list. Put it on someone else's. Sometimes you have to pay for that, but hey. Maybe you've got like a cousin, auntie that wants to train in a certain area and it's something you need to get done. You never know, you might get that for free. Number six, I'm, where's my timer? If you spend a lot of time on your phone, using the timer on your phone is probably not the best idea. I have this awesome little cube. So this was recommended to me in a YouTube video by a lady called Amy, whose surname I can't pronounce. Uh, she's Amy TV, formerly Savvy Sexy Social. She is incredible, just saying. I will link her down below, because I think she's awesome. And, but she recommended this cube, and I was a bit worried, because I'm in the UK and she's in America, that I wasn't gonna get one. You can get them at different time things on, so you've got like 30, 60 minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, and you literally like put the one forward you want and then rock it forward and a little thing at the bottom times it for those minutes. So I just, I love that because I'm not picking up my phone. So if I pick up my phone, it's gonna cost time, not save time. And having that timer on, it, I just, if you see the time like ticking down and you know that you really need to get it finished, I, I just really strongly believe that you get things done quicker. Whereas if you're like, oh, kind of, I've got two hours and this job should only take me half an hour. It's always gonna take you two hours. So say you've only got half an hour and get it done in half an hour. It's kind of obvious when you say it, but so many people don't do it. And then so many people that aren't having any luck with a timer tell me that they, they do use timers. They use the one on their phone. Don't use your phone, get a block. Or just a separate timer, like an egg timer. Like get the digital egg timer, it's like a fiber in Tesco. It's like, use one of those but that's, that's a cool, quick way because apart from buying the timer, there's very little time investment in that one. Number seven is batch similar tasks together. So it could be that you need to get your nails done, pick up the dry cleaning and do some banking in the week. You've got these three things to do. They're probably not the only three things you're doing that week, but. These are three things across your week you've got to get done. You don't need to do them on the same day, but actually two are next to each other on one side of the road and the other one is the other side of the road. So do them all together, batch them and task together. Same thing if you've got to do any meetings and you meet in a coffee shop, then put those together. If you've got to make uh, cakes for something at church, cakes for something at school and it's someone's birthday and you're like, oh, I can make them a cake. There you go, present sorted. Make the cakes together. Do it together at the same time. It just makes life so much easier. So the next one's a bit heavy on the time investment. It's rest and refuel. This is really hard for people to grasp. It's the biggest thing I heard as a personal trainer for an excuse not to exercise is I don't have time. I don't have energy and I don't have time. But actually, once you start exercising, you find the time and you find the energy. It's like you have more time and you have more energy. If you are rested and refueled, you will get more done. Fact, 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 fact. You will get more done. So make sure you are rested and refueled. Refueled with good food, good energizing food, Lots of water, not too much coffee. Don't just fuel your life on coffee because you will crash and it is not good for you. You will put your body in an acidic state and it will not thank you for it. Good, wholesome refueling and rest. So, 
number nine might come as an itty bitty shock, but I'm gonna tell you to stop multitasking. I'm sorry, but you ain't getting those jobs done properly. They are probably taking you longer. If you have planned to do them, set a timer and, and just do it like one at a time with similar tasks batched together. So much better than multitasking. Multitasking, I know we're women and we can multitask, but I just, but we shouldn't. We shouldn't, you're not doing it properly. And you will be much more efficient if you just do, focus on the one thing, get it one thing done. Just like, give your brain a breather, just do the one thing. Come on, come on. Scrap the multitasking, it's gone, bye bye. And my number 10 way for saving time is to be accountable. People do this in business all the time, but we don't apply it to our own lives because we kind of hide away our lives. We'll talk about the big things, but like our day-to-day -day living existence, we kind of hide away. So why not grab a similar-minded mum friend and say, hey, let's be each other's accountability buddies for life, for like going out and owning it, for getting everything done, for being the mums we want to be, and for really like learning all the skills we need to be the mums we want to be. Like, can we be accountable with each other? Because actually when you're accountable against someone, it just pushes you to do things. It stops you wasting time because you've kind of got that voice in your head going, oh, I'm gonna speak to Betty tomorrow. And Betty's gonna say, did you get that cake made for tomorrow? And you're gonna go, no, Betty. I'm going to stay up till 12 o'clock tonight and have to make it. Which means I'm not going to be rested. Which means tomorrow I'm going to eat a hell of a lot of sugar. And then I won't be properly refueled. And it's disaster after disaster. And it's not disaster in the whole like third world hunger situation. But it's a, it's a disaster. So in the whole time saving thing situation. So find accountability buddy. You may find that you can like team up with someone on our Facebook, on our Supermums community Facebook group. So that is linked down below. All our like social media is linked on our website and things like that. So if you want to connect on any of those, if Facebook isn't your thing, uh, then we're on like Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. I think I got more, more of those. Uh, so yeah, maybe the Facebook group is a really good one to put a shout out and say, hey, this is who I am approximately and anyone want to be my accountability buddy? So I hope you found these 10 things helpful and that they're going to save you loads of time. Do remember to connect with us on all the social media. Everything is linked down below and everything I said I have linked, I will link down below. Do come over to the website, that's supermumsociety.com for lots of other amazing resources and just to really get a feel of what we're about if you're new to Supermum Society. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.